Ready? Lista. Our membership site is growing and we want you to be a part of it. We have over a hundred videos, so many exercises, tons of ways for you to learn, grow, heal, and inspire with us. Come on over and see what it's all about. Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor. My name is Brayden. Today we're talking about being stood up. Oh, That's a bummer. Did you just search this video because you were stood up? Oh my gosh, I feel for you mm. so much. That's gotta be one of the worst. It just does not feel good. Nobody likes that. I don't think it don't feels think good to stand person. someone yeah. up. I've never What's been going on, on that anything, them? so, but I imagine that does not feel good. Yeah, we were just talking about this and I think we've both We've both been stood up, but neither of us have ever stood someone up. Yeah. So, good job. Yeah, you too. Oh, oh, Give man. me a pat. Give me a pat. Ah. Uh, okay. Great That's job. What I was looking for. Talking about your needs, expressing them clearly. <laughs> yeah, and I guess we, we want to talk about um, what to do, you know, if you are in that position and you do get stood up and how you can kind of make it, uh, take advantage of that of that situation that maybe really didn't feel that good for you. For sure. You had some good thoughts on that. I have some good thoughts. I mean, we both have good thoughts we on it. We both really do. But to start it out, do you want to share? I would, I would Great. like to. Great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here's Brittany with some thoughts. <laughs> Reporting live with thoughts on being stood up. <laughs> yeah, a few come to mind that all feel really important. So hopefully I'll recall all of them. Mm. The first thing I think is allowing like creating space for myself emotionally in that space of being stood up to feel like mm. this like that it's okay that this feels really hard for parts of me right now and and to create space like for me to nurture those parts of me that are coming up which like in the case i can think of of being stood up for me it felt like um you know like rejection and yeah. like this part of me that felt like not a worthless part that didn't feel valued that felt like totally overlooked or overseen and that my time really wasn't being honored that i wasn't being honored and cared for and i think like that feels like the biggest thing mm -hmm. when we have any sort of experience is allowing ourselves to be present with what's coming up for us and really hold space for all those parts of us that are coming up because I think things can get stuck in there in a traumatic way when we don't have the space for these parts to express how they're feeling and to acknowledge them and right. to care for them in a way they might be asking for. So yeah, the first step is like the acknowledgement. Yes, I think that blocking ourselves from feeling doesn't allow for integration and causes trauma. For sure. And <clears throat> um, I think a lot of the times when we do have tough things happen, parts of us feel like we're a victim. And I think that that's mm. an important feeling to honor and pay attention to and feel through. And then to do something with that feeling yeah. because uh, I think a lot of our culture, perhaps a lot of the world, operates from a place of victimization. And that's not an empowering place, right? It's the opposite of being empowered. So it's important to honor those feelings that you feel. And then to recognize like, okay, am I ready to kind of move into a more empowered place and when you are and i think that's just an intuitive thing for everyone probably going to be pushing your edge to do that at different times in your life when you are to kind of analyze like all right how can i make this situation work for me and am i a victim and and do i want to be a victim do i want to keep a narrative that like somebody did this thing to me and they made me feel this way and nobody loves me and nobody takes care of me and you know that kind of thing or do you want to kind of switch that narrative up and say like hmm how can i like did i have a sense of any of this coming how can i take a look at this relationship dynamic and learn for the next time can i feel compassion for how this other person can be feeling can i feel like the compassion i'm feeling for myself is actually rewarding and self-loving and also in a more practical way, what do I do, what do I want to do with this time that I was going to gift to someone else that now is all mine? What do I want to do for me? 
So those are some very like practical things to help move that space into one of being self-empowered. And I just want to add that being self-empowered or changing your narrative away from victimization doesn't mean not feeling, and it doesn't mean not honoring those parts that Brittany's talking about that could come up for you, like self-worth issues, self-worth feelings, parts of us that don't feel valuable, parts of us that just don't feel good. We still need to take care of those parts, but we can do that while kind of imbibing ourselves with a new perspective. Wow. Yeah. You just kind of blew my mind there. <laughs> that was awesome. It's the dragon fruit. <laughs> Been having a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I'm so glad you shared that. I feel like it just side note, naturally, I feel like you're so you're so great about like acknowledging parts and I'm like I just feel like you just like maybe we switched roles a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I really love how much these times have helped me propel myself towards more of the person that I want to be and to create more of the life for myself I want to be living. Usually in these kind of scenarios, I've had a sense that something wasn't quite on. And I think at this point, I'm not really creating relationships with people where it feels like, you know, we're not quite aligning in this way, or I right. don't feel like they're gonna show up and support me in, in the ways that I want. But it hasn't always been that way. And, and I've learned that because I've used times like that to choose people to surround myself with that feel more like nurturing and supportive and in line with what I'm looking for and going for. And also just like the knowledge that we deserve that and, and deciding to choose that and, <laughs> and saying like, I deserve to have amazing relationships with people who like really value and yeah. honor my time, my space, my energy. And if that means like for now I'm hanging out with me a lot, that's, that's awesome. I love hanging out with me. Mm -hmm. And maybe you have like one other person that's feeling great and that's awesome too. So sure. it's been an opportunity to value the relationships I do have and to let go of more of the relationships that don't feel great and to have this self-reflection time. Like how did I attract this into my life? Like what are some ways I might be kind of like not really in alignment and how can I better totally. move towards my like ideal alignment? And I think there's a, you know, we, all of us can always keep becoming more awesome and by doing that, we will create more people that want to spend time with us. Yes. And so it may be that like this is an opportunity for you to become more awesome right now so that you have more of the, the reflection of that from the external world. And also, it's always, all of us, no matter where we're at, have a great value. We're all beautiful people and we all like deserve to, uh, be able to meet people and hang out with them and spend time with them and be honored by that. And so it's also an opportunity for us to be like, cool, they didn't want to hang out with me. That's kind of too bad for them because I have all these yes. awesome things I could offer. I love that. So it's two things, you know, like maybe there are areas where you could improve and therefore attract more people who won't stand you up. That's a good thing. That's, that's okay. That's a great thing to know about ourselves. And also you're freaking perfect. And it's an honor to get to be in your presence. And I think that's an important narrative to give to ourselves as well. Yes, totally, all of that. And and like maybe the cherry, the topping, which you already hit on is like, also like, as it feels good for you, having space for this other person. Yeah. And like what their experience yeah. could be like, because it feels so good for me and for us, I think we've talked about this so much, to focus on how we are connected and how we understand one another mm -hmm. as opposed to like that how guy stood me somebody's up like I can't relate to that uh -huh. that person's so bad Major. like yeah that doesn't feel good it yeah. feels good to love and to feel included in the world and to understand others and I know like for me finding understanding for others in all sorts of situations has felt so healing for me I think so healing for them and just ultimately so healing for the world I totally agree yeah and I hope you have a great day if you were stood up I hope you still have a great day we just love you you yeah, know if you were stood great. up thanks for coming and hanging out with us no doubt no doubt so much love to you we'll see you around Mwah. Bye.